Hey everybody, this is Roxy, and I just wanted to show some cards. Um, I had a Valentine card making party a few weeks ago, and um, I just wanted to show some of the cards I had everybody make. So everybody got a big bag, a cellophane bag with three packets of supplies for three cards, and then I made some decorated some balsa box, put candy and uh, bling ring in, and then I also made some bookmarks for them. And this is just one of those wide um, paint swatches and I cut them in half, rounded, you know, the two of the corners are already rounded of course and then I rounded the other ones. Just used a little heart punch and I tried to pick um, like Sweet Nothing, Fading Rose, Ballerina Pink, kind of um, lovey kind of names but anyways, just pinks. And then I just added some velvet um, ribbon with some organza. And then this is that um, tinsel garland from Michaels. And then a little tiny I Am Roses. Or no, it's a, yeah, I Am Roses. Little rose flower. So I, everybody liked them. I got a little smegma on here. So, And then I just um, used some gesso, dry gesso on the back and um, stamp just a pretty sentiment um, for like a friendship saying. So that's the bookmark they got. And then this was one packet. And here's the end result. And I thought instead of having envelopes for all of them, I just did like a cellophane bag. This could be a, yeah, so you can just hand this to somebody. And um, so this is how this looks in real life. And this is just from the Cricut, of course. Uh, I think it was sweet. <coughs> Excuse me, I think it's. Uh, I don't remember what cartridge it was. I can put that in the um, description. But this, I just welded the cup cupcake. I welded it on my gypsy to make a, you know, a folded card. There's other ways you can do that. If you don't have a gypsy or able to weld it, you could cut the two cupcakes out and then just maybe cut one of them off at the top and then just use a piece of paper folded as kind of a hinge. But welding is so much easier. I love my gypsy. So here's the little card, and then this is just a um, stamping up set that has a little punch and these little sentiments. And just a Michaels little flower, and then we just stickled them, and it was cute. So that's one card. Here is the next one, a little packet. And this I cut out, um, oh, here was the trick with this cutting out. Um, I had vintage paper and all of them were the orientation of the music was the right way. This is my prototype I made. Um, so I tried to cut out the scallop from some vintage uh, music sheet paper but it was so fibrous that it just didn't pull off my mat. So instead, I copied the music sheet paper onto um, just regular copy paper, and that pulled up just nice, more you know, nicely, so it, it worked. Again, I welded this one, and again, you could do the same thing, um, you know, with the hinge. And then we just added, I just added little doodads, like some rhinestones and stuff, and that orientation's off, but anyways rhinestones and bling and then we stickled flowers or whatever they and they all did it really differently so I was kind of happy with that and then this one I found um, this card on Pinterest and the original designer of that is uh, what's her name Michelle Kovac and she has some really cool cards um, her site is thoughts of a card making scrapbooker on um, that's her blog um, so that was kind of cool. So um, this one was fun. This is from Love You Latte. 
You know what? I think the cupcake is too. I'll put the other two, like the scallop heart. I don't remember where that's from. And then the cupcake. I'll put those links, the cartridges uh, below. So I just use same as hers pretty much. A um, little piece of doily, some uh, pearls, and then these are some straws that I got from um, Tasha Boy Designs. And then we just, I just taught them how to distress around like the edge of this to give it some dimension so it looks like it's rounded or whatever. But so those are my cards. Um, so thanks for watching, and I hope you can um, join in with some card inspiration of your own. Bye.